Okay, today I'm going to show you how to replace a kitchen faucet. This is a standard kitchen faucet. This one's a Delta. It uh, has the omnidirectional single lever. And it's uh, relatively hose. simple. Uh, but if you've never done it before by yourself, it's good to see how someone else does it before you start. Okay, now that we've got the under sink area cleaned out, it's a good chance to go ahead and vacuum it out. Uh, also, you want to use a light. It's always dark under there. Any extra light, I just got a little clip on desk lamp here. And when I do stuff like this, working under the sink, installing the dishwasher, whatever, uh, I like to use towels, a couple of beach towels or a dog drying towel, just to lay on in there to help my back from getting all cramped and beat up in there. So without further ado, we'll start to look at what we have to do. Okay, before I disassemble the old faucet, I like to open up the box of the new one to make sure everything looks good so I don't replace something without having something to replace it with. This box I had to cut off, cut off the straps. That's a good sign that it hasn't been a returned item. I've got uh, directions, hose. Okay, we'll do a quick inventory and then uh, take a peek at what we have to change. All right, real quickly, uh, faucets pretty much only vary by style, not by design. So this is your typical faucet. Uh, you've got a univalve on here that controls hot and cold. We've got two feeder lines out here that will connect to our hot and cold water supply lines. And it's kind of nice. They actually put a piece of tape on this one that says hot side so you know which, which side to do so you don't have a reversed plumbing. So when you think you turn it to hot, it's actually cold. So follow that. And then it's got a uh, divert line that should go to your handheld sprayer. Directions. Pretty clear. Mostly pictorial. That's good. Uh, so I'm satisfied that everything's here so we can start to take out the old one. Okay, underneath the sink, uh, the first thing you want to do is turn off the supply uh, valves. That's one valve there and one valve there. If you're unsure which way to turn them, first feel. You can always just turn on the sink above. That's a trickle on hot, so I'll turn this one clockwise. And I don't know if you heard it, but the water slowed up top to just a trickle. So that's just the cold part that's going on. So now I'll turn the cold off. And if you heard, okay, the first water step we're to do is disconnect the supply lines and I already loosened this with my wrench. It's just a compression fitting. Basically this squeezes the tube tightly onto the next piece. It got stuck there, so I'll use a wrench again. There we go. There's one piece. Get the towel in there to catch all that. And I'll work on the other piece. Okay, we finished one supply line, so we're going to go ahead and do this other one. Okay, we're under the sink now. I'm looking up at the attachments that hold the faucet on above. You see this one bolt here, fairly rusted. I got about an inch and a half of bolt there. So I'm going to go get a deep socket set from the garage that'll let me just fit my socket wrench over that and we'll loosen that. A fair amount of rust kind of has me worried. This should be one of these on each side, but on the other side, if you can see, I'll try to get around. There it is. The other side you can see right there holds our handheld sprayer and this has this big threaded hollow bolt that is supposed to have a a nut to thread that on, but over time that has become loose and apparently fallen off by itself. Because if I follow the hose down, I see the ring that's supposed to thread up on top around there. So that's one step we can skip. We don't have to thread that um, thread that off to get it off. So really the faucet's being held on by that one bolt. So I'll get the socket set and we'll take it off. Okay, theoretically. There's no reason a little crescent wrench like this won't work to get that stubborn bolt off. But it's such a tight space and I have the extra tools, I'm going to use what they call a deep socket wrench. So that'll fit up over the bolt. And then I'll use a couple extensions. 
this to make it long enough so I can work comfortably on that. So that's what I'll go ahead and do at this point. Okay, this is kind of interesting. I put my extension on the bolt, use my ratchet wrench, and after the first turn, the entire bolt sheared off. So that's how old and rusty this sink set is. So the good news is now I can just pull it off, but uh, interesting to see that. Okay, in a normal sink, uh, there's only two things holding the faucet on. The bolt that's on this side that we undid, which actually broke when we were trying to undo it. And on this side, from the underneath, there's that threaded thing that goes on the hollow bolt that secures this side. Uh, one thing we need to do before pulling this off is disconnect the uh, sprayer hose. And that just unthreads, so grab it at the bottom, hold it steady, and, and twist off. And you'll be able to pull the head off and take this apart so it'll slide through there for you. Okay, to finally disassemble the hose attachment, we pulled off the sprayer and a couple of gaskets. And now, if you can see, there's this little silver metal head, and I'm going to use a, a fine screwdriver to pry that off. Then this whole black piece will slide up and we can fit it through the hole. Okay, on my middle finger there is that little metal clip I just pulled off. Okay, with that little plastic clip, or the metal clip off, this slides right out, and we can stick this through. Pull it through the bottom. And now, we should be almost ready to pull the sink right off, or pull the faucet right off. Let's see. You can see the old nasty destroyed gasket underneath. So I'll just have to work these copper tubes out. There we go. One piece, two piece, and now the supply hose. Okay. Got the old faucet out, we'll set that to the side. And now you'll notice we have a mess to clean up. So that's years worth of uh, soap scum and some corrosion from the old faucet. We'll clean that up and uh, put on the new one in a second. Okay, I've got the sink all cleaned up. It was a good chance to get through all the uh, old gasket, whatever. Clean it up with a good comet. And now we have this new modern sink, and instead of the real uh, inflexible copper. I mean, the copper is still malleable, but the new ones come with this kind of armored uh, tubing uh, that make it real simple. And all we do is fit the uh, top or the, the tubing through the center hole, including our sprayer hose. And this side, just like the old one, will be tightened on with one, one, uh, one bolt there. And we'll fit that into place right there. Right now it's just sitting there, but it already looks a lot nicer than the On the underside, we have two things holding it down. This piece will unthread, and this black plastic piece here will thread on from the bottom. So this is going to hold the, um, the sprayer on. So we'll disconnect that. This will go down to the top, and then this will come up from the bottom and pinching the right half of our faucet in place. On the left half, they've got this bracket piece right here that is going to be mounted from underneath, and then they've got a thread protector, a little um, metal sleeve that will go over the bolt to protect, protect, to protect the threads, and then we'll just put the bolt on there. This should help inhibit the rust that we saw in the old one. Okay, on top, I already talked about this plastic piece we're going to put here. This will hold the... Uh, the sprayer handle, push that down, it's still just sitting there. We've got the black plastic piece we'll put up from below, but first let's get our, our spray hose. Feed this through. Okay. And now on the uh, right side I'm going to go underneath and thread this to lock this side down. Okay, we're back under the sink, and I've got my towels and my 
flight and I'm glad to have both. And what I just did is I took that black plastic piece that, and I slid it over this, uh, the uh, sprayer hose, pushed it all the way up to the top and tightened it, hand tightened it into place. Um, so it's not incredibly tight, it's just tight enough so I can maneuver the, uh, the faucet to make sure it's straight before I tighten it down all the way. This is the, uh, the connector piece for the sprayer hose and the modern replacement faucets, they've got really smart. This is almost a, a plug and play. You just take this and uh, stick it into the receiver valve of the flyer of the other piece and you can do that without any tools. You just push it right in. So I'll go Okay, ahead that took that. about two seconds. I pushed the light colored plastic hose into the black receptacle and then snapped that gray piece down and it's uh, connected and tight. Nice innovation. Now we have the two supply hoses, the gray armored tubing that will simply connect up to our hot water supply and our cold water supply. And then we'll, uh, we'll test it to see if it leaks and we're good to go. Connecting the hoses, way more workable than the copper. Hand tighten that. And I'll get my wrench and give it a half a twist. Same thing, just hand tighten it and then we'll get the wrench and snug it up. Okay, we've got the water supply hooked up but not turned on yet. And you can see this side is not snug, neither is this side. I'll go ahead and adjust that plastic nut from the below, from the below to snug up the right side. And like I said before, on the left side, we'll attach this bracket, this thread, prote this thread protector, and then the nut to tighten it up. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to try to get a camera in there, but we'll see. Okay, here we are underneath the sink. From the top, this is the left-hand side. You can still see it's still loose. Um, what we're going to do is kind of center that, and we're going to put on... We're going to put on those uh, retaining bolts I just showed you. Trouble is, when you're filming this, you need three hands. But let me turn it off for a second and grab those bolts. Okay, I've got this hand tightened on that side and you can't see the whether well, you got on the black side or the uh, black plastic piece there to be hand tightened too so i've got my wife on top now to hold the faucet where she thinks it should be centered and i'll go ahead and tighten these down otherwise you can pretty much do this yourself so how do you do you have it yeah okay i'm gonna get my tool and uh, tighten up both sides okay with the help of my beautiful bride we we're able to tighten it down below and pretty secure I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water supply and we'll test it. Water supply valves, we've shown these a few times. Just twist this. You heard a quick burst of water. Watch it for a second. That's the hot. No leakage. Ow! That's my head on the doorway. Cold, same thing. You heard a quick burst of pressure. And I felt some water dripping. Watch that one. Might have just been... Okay. Water supply's on. And here is where you need a drum roll. Okay, we're doing some checks, making sure it works. Cold. Hot. Spray. Go underneath, look for leaks. Nothing. 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 Well, that's how you replace a faucet. Thanks for watching.